So sometimes we need to calculate distance traveled. Position doesn't matter. One example is fuel consumption, right? So if we've got an airplane going from one way to the other, if it's back to the starting point, you need to know what distance it traveled in order to figure out things like how much fuel to use. Okay, folks? Thanks. So here, same situation. We've got an acceleration to negative five. Went from positive 25 meters per second to negative 25 meters per second. So it went from east to west in 10 seconds. Trying to calculate the total distance traveled. Okay. That's italicized for a reason. Distance is a scalar. Direction doesn't matter. The fact that it went east and west, it doesn't matter at all. Okay. And we did similar problems all, even on this worksheet. Question two asked, gave us a bunch of individual movements, and we had to add them all up or subtract anything that's west. In this problem, what's different is we have to calculate how far it went east and how far it went west. Okay. So we're going to figure out the total distance by doing distance traveled in the east, added distance traveled to the west. So any problem you see for distance, it's the same setup. How far did it go up? Add it to how far it went down, if it's moving up and down. So we'll start by first calculating the distance traveled eastward. East is positive, so I'm focusing just on that. The origin is wherever this glider is. That's the zero, zero point, that's where it is. So I'm gonna look at the question again and write down everything that I know. So I know my initial velocity is 25 meters per second east. My acceleration, calculated that before yesterday, negative five meters per second squared east. But here's what's different. We're just figuring out how far it went east. So how fast is it moving at that point where it's turning around and changing direction for that instant? Zero. That's what's new, right? Zero meters per second east if you want and we want to figure out how far it went and we know the initial position zero so you start looking at your formulas again the one we've been using most of the time solving for final position is this one initial position plus velocity times time plus one half at squared a lot of mistakes happen by using this one first. Why can't we use that one first? What's missing? Look at what you know. We don't have time. When you read the question, you might think that you have time. It says 10 seconds. But that's not the time to go from 25 to 0. That's the time to go from 25 east to 25 west. Okay? So it's not the time to go from 25 to 0. So we don't know the time. So we have to use the formula without time in it. Okay? So we have to use this formula. So a little bit of rearranging to solve the equation, but we can do that. Right. So let's put our values in. Final velocity is 0. Initial velocity is 25. Acceleration is negative 5. Okay? So 25 squared plus 2 times negative 5. Final position is what we're solving for. Initial position was 0. That'll tell us how far it went east to come to a stop for an instant before it turns around. So it's zero, okay, double zero there. Zero equals 625 uh, minus 10 DF, whatever that ended up. So negative 625 equals negative 10 DF and divide 62.5. So this is how far it went just east. Right? Remember, whenever velocity hits zero, it's changing direction to go from east to west or north to south. So that's distance east. Questions on that part? Okay. So we're breaking up the problem into two pieces. So do you have a question? Right here, 62.5. Negative 625 equals negative 10, or before that? I can't hear you very well. I divided both sides by negative 10. So this was 625, it became 62.5. Yeah, there's a point there. Hard to see. Okay. Any other questions on the math, the setup? 
So here's what's really different now. We've got to calculate how far it went westward. I'm changing around my coordinate system, and you're allowed to do that. If you want to keep west negative, you can. I'm making west positive. I want to figure out how far it traveled west. I want to get that number. You can leave it as it is and calculate just the negative value and change it at the end. You can do that. I'm changing my origin. I'm changing where my kind of reference point is. It is now where the object changed direction. So my zero position is going to be where the object changes direction. So now when I'm setting up my problem, things have changed a little bit. Initial velocity is now zero because it has come to a stop and it has changed direction and it's starting to go west. Okay, so zero meters per second west. Final velocity is 25 meters per second west. So notice it's positive this time because I've redefined west as positive. My acceleration, 5 meters per second west. Final position is what I'm looking for. Initial position is 0. Everything's relative to west this time because I'm trying to figure out how far it went west. So notice how my acceleration is now a positive value for my math and my final velocity is now a positive value. If you do this question as normal with east being positive, this becomes a negative acceleration and a negative final velocity. You will get the same result. You just will get a negative result and you have to remember to make that positive when you add distances. Okay. This way just avoids that. So here's my formula we're going to use, same formula as before, put my numbers in. It'll look very similar to what we just had. Okay. So final velocity is 25, initial velocity is 0, acceleration 5, and then final position minus 0. So 625 equals 10 BF. In my other formula, I had negative 625 equals negative 10. It's, this problem is symmetric, and that's because it went from 25 east to 25 west. If those two numbers were different, we wouldn't see that happen. Okay. So 62.5 meters is final position. Remember, this is just west. Broke it up. Kind of warned you yesterday, solving for distance is going to be more involved than just solving for position because you have to track where it actually went. So total distance is the distance traveled in the east plus the distance traveled in the west. For us, it happens to be the same number. 62.5 plus 62.5. So total distance traveled, 125. No direction, no east or west. Doesn't matter the direction, just one way than the other. 